Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Patch 8.0, the Battle for Azeroth pre-expansion patch. In this video, we'll walk you through the biggest changes 8.0 brings to World of Warcraft and some of the new content and features coming along with them. One of the first things you'll notice when logging in is that we've done another stat squish, similar to the one we did with Warlords of Draenor. This means that health, damage, and stat numbers have been reduced across the board, both for players and for NPCs. Everything's been scaled down roughly evenly. You'll just be looking at numbers that are easier to read at a glance. If you've been keeping up with what's been happening over the last few weeks, you'll know that something big has been going on with your artifact. As of Patch 8.0, the last drops of power from your artifact have been used up. This means you'll no longer be able to earn artifact power to unlock traits, and any existing traits you've unlocked are no longer active, although many of those traits have now been incorporated into your class or spec by default. Characters just getting started in Legion content will still seek out and acquire artifacts, but its power will scale up automatically as you level. And if you enjoyed the gameplay of leveling your artifact, keep an eye out for the Heart of Azeroth and Azerite armor coming in Battle for Azeroth. We've also made some significant changes to how professions work. Each expansion's recipes have been separated out into their own category with their own progression. This means you no longer have to level a profession through old recipes just to catch up. First Aid has been removed as a secondary profession, with bandages now being made by tailors and anti-venoms made by alchemists. Characters with other professions will need to find a friend to make their bandages for them or just head to the auction house. Also in Patch 8.0 is our new approach to open world PvP, War Mode. Now, rather than having open world PvP determined by which server you're playing on, you'll be able to toggle War Mode on or off from your talents page as long as you're inside Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Turn it off and you'll be able to quest in peace without worrying about being attacked by enemy players. Turn it on, and when you venture out into the world, you'll be able to attack or be attacked by other players. You'll also have your PvP talents enabled, and to offset the increased danger of open-world PvP, you'll get a bonus, increased experience gain for characters below max level, or increased rewards from world quests for characters already at max. In the coming weeks, you'll start to see tensions between the Alliance and Horde escalate as we head towards the battle for Azeroth with some new content that will only be available until the expansion is officially released. We're also running what we're calling a Legion PvP postseason, which will let you earn some nice gear to prepare for the expansion. Of course, this is just the beginning of what's coming in Battle for Azeroth, which has all sorts of exciting features to look forward to, including war fronts, island expeditions, allied races, new zones, dungeons, and raids, new PvP arena maps, and some major updates to the Mythic Keystone system. Check out the Battle for Azeroth website at worldofwarcraft.com for more details. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the front lines.